In the heart of British Hong Kong, a financial institution was born that would significantly shape the global banking landscape. This institution, known as the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, or HSBC for short, was founded in 1865. Its roots trace back to a Hong trading house, a type of business enterprise unique to the region. This was a time when Hong Kong was a bustling port, a melting pot of East and West, and a gateway to the vast markets of mainland China. HSBC's establishment wasn't a mere matter of course, it was a strategic move, a calculated decision made by visionaries who understood the immense potential and opportunities that lay in the East. They saw an untapped market, a region ripe for growth and development, and they seized the moment. In the same year, HSBC expanded its operations to Shanghai, marking the beginning of a journey that would take this fledgling institution from a local trading house to a global banking giant. It was a bold step, one that reflected the bank's ambition to extend its reach beyond Hong Kong's borders and to tap into the vast economic potential of mainland China. A year later, in 1866, HSBC was formally incorporated. This was a significant milestone in the bank's history, as it officially marked its transition from a trading house to a fully-fledged banking institution. And with this move, HSBC set itself on a path to becoming a dominant player in the world of finance. But this was just the beginning. The road ahead was long and filled with challenges, yet the bank's founders were undeterred. They believed in their vision, in the potential of HSBC to become a leading financial institution, and they were willing to do whatever it took to turn this vision into reality. Thus began the journey of a bank that would grow to become a dominant player in the world of finance. The seeds of a financial giant were sown, and over the next century and a half, HSBC would grow and evolve, shaping and being shaped by the world of global finance. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. After decades of successful operations in Hong Kong and Shanghai, HSBC was ready to take a bold step. The year was 1991, and the world was changing rapidly. The collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War had given rise to a new era of globalization. It was in this dynamic and transformative period that HSBC decided to make its move. The bank's leadership realized that to truly become a global player, they needed a presence in the world's financial capital, London. Therefore, they established a new parent entity, HSBC Holdings PLC, right in the heart of this bustling city. But the move was more than just a change of address. It was a strategic decision that would shape the bank's future and redefine its identity. The historic Hong Kong-based bank, the very institution from whose initials the group derived its name, became a fully owned subsidiary of HSBC Holdings PLC. This marked a significant shift in the bank's organisational structure, a shift that signalled the bank's ambition to play in the big leagues of global finance. But HSBC did not stop there. Just a year after the establishment of HSBC Holdings PLC in 1992, the bank made another bold move. It took over Midland Bank, one of the UK's largest domestic banks at the time. This acquisition not only boosted HSBC's presence in the UK, but also significantly expanded its customer base. Through the takeover of Midland Bank, HSBC demonstrated its ability to compete with other major players in the UK banking industry. The acquisition also provided HSBC with valuable insights into the UK market, which would later prove instrumental in the bank's global expansion strategy. With these strategic decisions, HSBC was no longer just a bank from Hong Kong and Shanghai. It had become a British universal bank with a global outlook and the ambition to match. It was a bold and daring move, but one that paid off handsomely. With this move, HSBC had firmly planted its roots in the heart of the global financial hub London. It was a new beginning for the bank, a fresh start that would lay the foundation for its future success as a global financial giant. From its beginnings in the Far East, HSBC embarked on a journey of global expansion, a journey that has taken this financial titan to the farthest reaches of the globe. 
Today, the bank's presence is notable in 62 countries, spanning continents from Africa to Asia, Oceania to Europe, and from North America to South America. This global expansion has allowed HSBC to serve around 39 million customers, a number that attests to its expansive reach and influence. But the bank's global presence is not just about the number of countries it operates in or the customers it serves. It's also about the impact it has on the world economy. In 2023, Forbes ranked HSBC as the 20th largest company in the world, based on metrics such as sales, profits, assets and market value. This ranking is a testament to the bank's economic prowess and its significant role in global finance. HSBC's global presence is also reflected in its activity on various stock exchanges, with a primary dual listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and the London Stock Exchange it's a major player in two of the world's most significant financial markets. Additionally, the bank has secondary listings on the New York Stock Exchange and the Bermuda Stock Exchange, further cementing its global footprint in the world of finance. This global expansion has not been without its challenges, but it's a journey that HSBC has navigated with a level of sophistication and strategic acumen. The bank's global presence is not just about physical locations or numbers on a balance sheet. It's about connecting economies, linking cultures and bridging the gap between East and West. HSBC's global expansion is a story of ambition, resilience and the pursuit of growth. It's a story that continues to unfold as the bank seeks new markets, explores innovative financial solutions and pursues its goal of being the world's leading international bank. HSBC's global footprint is a testament to its continuous pursuit of growth and expansion. This is a bank that understands the world is not divided by borders but connected by opportunities. And for HSBC, the journey of global expansion is far from over. Alongside its impressive growth, HSBC has also weathered a number of storms. Not all of HSBC's history has been smooth sailing. Like many financial institutions of its size, it has had its fair share of controversies and challenges. A notable example is its brushes with money laundering. The bank has faced repeated fines for its involvement in such illicit activities, sometimes even in relation to major criminal organizations. One such incident that brought HSBC under scrutiny was its alleged involvement with the notorious Sinaloa cartel. This is not a name that any institution would want associated with its reputation. The Sinaloa cartel, known for its extensive drug trafficking operations, is one of the most powerful criminal groups in the world. HSBC's troubles didn't end with money laundering. The bank has also been implicated in setting up large-scale tax avoidance schemes. These are practices where the bank allegedly helped wealthy individuals and entities to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. Such schemes are not only ethically questionable, but they also undermine public trust and can lead to significant fines and reputational damage. These controversies have led to a series of hefty fines for HSBC. These penalties imposed by various regulatory bodies have cost the bank billions of dollars over the years. They serve as a stark reminder that even the largest and most successful banks are not immune to regulatory scrutiny and the consequences of non-compliance. But it's not all doom and gloom. These events have also forced HSBC to enact a series of reforms aimed at improving its compliance procedures and internal controls. The bank has invested heavily in these areas with the aim of preventing such incidents from recurring in the future. These controversies and challenges have undoubtedly left a mark on HSBC. They've tested the bank's resilience and posed significant obstacles to its operations. However, they have also provided valuable lessons. They've pushed the bank to become more accountable, transparent and compliant with regulatory standards. Despite these challenges, HSBC has shown resilience, maintaining its place as a leading global bank. From its humble beginnings to its present-day status, HSBC has etched a remarkable path in the annals of global finance. Born out of a simple Hong trading house in British Hong Kong in the mid-19th century, this financial giant has since grown to become one of the world's leading banking and financial services organizations. The journey from Hong Kong and Shanghai to the bustling city of London marked a significant turning point in HSBC's history. Establishing its parent entity, HSBC Holdings PLC, in the heart of England in 1991, 
the bank solidified its position on the global financial stage. A year later, the takeover of Midland Bank catapulted HSBC to the ranks of the largest domestic banks in the United Kingdom. Global expansion has always been a part of HSBC's DNA, with offices, branches and subsidiaries present in 62 countries and territories across Africa, Asia, Oceania, Europe, North America and South America. HSBC's footprint truly spans the globe. Serving around 39 million customers, this bank's influence cannot be understated. Yet the present-day HSBC is not just about its past accomplishments. Today it stands as the largest Europe-based bank by total assets, surpassing even BNP Paribas. As of the end of 2021, HSBC had nearly 3 trillion US dollars in total assets. Moreover, it managed over $10 trillion in assets under custody and close to $5 trillion in assets under administration. Such figures are a testament to HSBC's financial strength and its unwavering commitment to serving its clients. Despite its share of controversies and challenges, HSBC has remained resilient, navigating through the rough waters with a sense of responsibility and commitment to its values. It continues to learn from its past and strives to improve its practices, always keeping its customers' trust at the forefront. And so the HSBC story continues, a tale of resilience, growth, and a relentless pursuit of financial excellence. As we look towards the future, one thing remains certain. HSBC will continue to play a significant role in shaping the global financial landscape.